It's Professor Dave. Let's work with fractions. He knows a lot about all kinds of stuff. Professor Dave explains. We've learned about addition and subtraction, and we've learned about fractions. So why not learn how to add and subtract fractions? Now that we know how to find the least common multiple of two numbers, this will be an easy thing to do. First, let's look at these two fractions, 1 eighth and 3 eighths. Because these already have the same denominator, all we have to do is add the numerators. 1 plus 3 is 4, so we get 4 eighths. It's important to note that when adding fractions, we do not add the denominators. Just like we would say 1 apple plus 3 apples equals 4 apples, the same logic applies here. We can imagine an eighth as a slice of pizza, and one slice plus three slices equals four slices. The denominator reports the magnitude of the fraction, so this won't change as we add and subtract. Once we have the sum, we can reduce if applicable. Four eighths reduces to one half, which makes sense as four slices is half a pizza. So that will be our final answer. What if the fractions do not have the same denominator? In that case, we have to change them so that they do have the same denominator. To do this, we have to find the least common multiple of the denominators. Take 1 third and 1 fourth. It's not immediately obvious what this sum would be. But if we recognize that the least common multiple of 3 and 4 is 12, then we can make things easier for ourselves. Multiplying by 4 over 4, 1 third will become 4 twelfths, and multiplying by 3 over 3, 1 fourth will become 3 twelfths. Now we just add them together, and 4 plus 3 is 7, so we get 7 twelfths. For subtraction, it's essentially the same thing. What if we had 1 third minus 1 fourth? Then we would just change that to be 4 twelfths minus 3 twelfths. We just do 4 minus 3, and we are left with 1 twelfth. How about a trickier one, 1 fifth plus 2 elevenths? Well, the least common multiple of 5 and 11 is their product, 55. So let's multiply by 11 over 11 and 5 over 5, which will change these to 11 over 55 and 10 over 55. That gives us 21 over 55, and that's all there is to it. Now try 2 sevenths minus 3 fifths. The least common multiple is 35, so this will become 10 over 35 minus 21 over 35, giving us negative 11 over 35. You may want just a little more practice on your own, so let's check comprehension. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.